Hey, pretty fish. It is the 6th of June, 6 6 2018. And this is just one of those videos that just came, okay? It, and when I saw this stuff, it really brought my spirit into a sense of kind of urgency. And it started early this morning with this article here that I thought was just crazy in and of itself. But we had a train in Germany that hit a herd of sheep and it killed 50 of them okay now i see this image and i see these sheep are fleeing that is what comes into my mind they are fleeing and there were five people on this train okay there's some other oddities that we could get into but those are the key things that i want to have you keep in mind 50 killed five on the train and I go about my business. This is early, early this morning, and I came back. And I'm surfing my, my headlines. And lo and behold, the same exact story shows up, except this time there's 45 animals. Five less than this one. I don't know who's right or wrong. It's kind of irrelevant. It's also kind of strange that they can't even count the dead sheep. But there you go. Okay, so we went from 50 to 45. Well, three days ago, okay, here in the great state of Maine, there was a competition, a sheep shearing competition, okay? And this was on June the 3rd, okay, of all days. And in this competition, they are timed how fast they can shear five sheep. So... I'm putting the emphasis on the fives because there's a reason for that, but please try to follow me here. So I'm reading this article, and I come to this point here where I see the person who organized this, and her name is Edith Kirshner. She's a fourth generation sheep shearer. Of course, I see the name Kirshner, and yes, it does link back. It's Germanic, and it goes back, and it links to exactly who you're probably thinking of. And But I was more curious about Edith for whatever reason. And Edith is not mentioned in the Bible. However, when I did a little bit of searching, it brought me to some uh, interesting information about Lot and Sodom and Gomorrah. And as I followed this little lead that I found, I come to a wiki of all things of Lot's wife. Which once again leads me to another wiki about the names not found in the Bible, okay? And Lot's wife is one of them, okay? That's what this wiki is. Biblical nameless people, okay? And we go through the list here. Got Noah's wife, Ham's wife, Nimrod's wife, and we come to Lot's wife. And it turns out she was named in the book of Jasher, which I did look up just to confirm, and it's true, and I'll link this. So, she was in there, and her name was also translates to Edith. You can't make this up. The same woman who organized the sheep shearing. All right? Now, Lot's wife did not want to part with this world when the angels came and told them, we got to go. Because Lot turned back to look. Because part of her heart was still attached to that place. And what this is telling me is that we need to make sure that we don't have anything holding us here in this world because he's coming. This is very likened to the ten virgins. This is what I think of also when I see the five, the increments of five, the five foolish and the five wise. And this comes right back to Lot himself when Abraham is asking God, please don't destroy the city if I can find 50 righteous, 50 sheep. How about if I can find 45 righteous, 45 sheep? This is just crazy, you guys, okay? And he whittles him all the way down to 10, like the 10 virgins. But they could not be found, and, they destroy, and he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? So you don't want to be like Lot's wife. It's spoken of very clearly in Luke. Luke 17. 
Remember Lot's wife. We could read this. This is extremely interesting. As it was in the days of Noah. Likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot. And they did eat, and they did drink, and they planted, and they builded. Okay? The same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire. Okay, even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. If you're on the housetop, don't go back and get your stuff. And if you're in a field, don't go back to get your stuff. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever shall seek his, to save his life shall lose it. And we could just go so much deeper into this. What an amazing God we have. This is a warning. As a straight up warning be apart from this world seek Jesus diligently always so I had to get this out to you I just had to get it out okay so uh, I'll link everything that I can and uh, peace and grace to y'all okay keep looking up seek Jesus many fish finally my brethren be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 